Section 17 of the Thrill Book, Volume 1, Number 3. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Ben Tucker. The Thrill Book, Volume 1, Number 3. The Right Stuff by Harold Hersey. We should be pardoned if we take a certain amount of pride in the first issues of the Thrill Book. Not only do we think we are putting forth the kind of story that can be read in no other magazine, but from the popularity of its sale and the expressions of approval which keep pouring in from the four points of the compass, we have swiftly come to the realization that the thrill book is the right stuff. You would have to go a long way to find such tales as The Wolf of the Steps by Grey Lespina, which appeared in our first issue, The Web of Death by Claire Douglas Stewart in the second, and The Hank of Yarn by Pearly Poor Sheehan in this issue. We started this magazine with a definite purpose in view, that purpose being to publish the type of story which possesses a real backbone of virility, an unusual texture, and a plot holding the interest from beginning to end. It can be done. It will be done. We are not going to put space fillers in the thrill book. We are not going to use the drab, dull, conventional narrative that is laid around ancient scenery and behind the times characters. We started with the belief that all the readers, or rather, the kind of readers we wanted, had good red blood in their veins. We didn't hope to appeal to the backward-looking spirit who seemingly is content to read the same kind of silly story by the same tiresome writers. We believe this type of reader is so sadly in the minority that he couldn't be found except after arduous searching. We can't understand how even the small minority like the milk-and-water fiction that leaves a bad taste in the mouth. We have grown dissatisfied lately, the thrill book being the result of a lot of thought along these lines. We finally determined to launch what we thought deserved a place in American literature, a magazine that not only published the weird and harrowing, but also the mystical, adventurist, spiritist, fantastic, and bizarre tale. In other words, any sort of story that lifted one out of this lethargy into which one falls while reading the average magazine. We are proceeding with three ideals. First, our stories must be grippingly interesting thrilling, absorbing, no matter whether they deal with mystery, adventure, or commonplace incidents. Second, our stories must be well done, not merely thrown together in a haphazard newspaper fashion, but constructed carefully for the new reader. Third, we will not spare our pocketbook or pad the pages. So far we have succeeded in the above three ideals. It is a big venture. It demands cooperation. Our readers must take up the cudgels and write to us and tell us what they think about the thrill book. We contend that a magazine which does not appreciate the assistance of its readers' minds must prove worthless. We are the official publication of the Worldwide Fiction Readers Club. We stand ready to produce the kind of story you can't get anywhere else for the smallest price at which we can issue the magazine. But we need the help of our honorary editors. Write today. Tell us all about it. The Editor End of Section 17 the Right Stuff by Harold Hersey. End of The Thrill Book, Volume 1, Number 3.